Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me for num video number two in my Stamparatus 101 series. And we are making a, this fabulous card today using the hinge step technique. I will get into that very, very shortly. Don't forget while you're here to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you do not miss any videos from me. This is the Stamparatus Stampin' Up's brand new stamp positioning tool. It is available free release on the 1st of June in the brand new Stampin' Up annual catalogue. I am completely in love with this thing. It is awesome. I use it more than I thought I would um, for just basic making sure I get the stamp in the right place type um, stamping. But like I said, we're going to use do the hinge step technique today. Now, this is a technique that is pretty unique to this tool. Although you can create a very similar look with a block, I'm not going to deny that. This, the tool makes it really simple and it makes it replicatable. You could do this again and again and again and again and get exactly the same result. So, this is the girly one. We have um, Flutter Flamingo Powder Pink and Whisper White on this one. We're gonna man it up <laughs> with some, with a, one of the new in colors actually. This is Blueberry Bushel, which is the most royal of royal blues that I think we've had in a good while. We've got Smoky Slate and again, Whisper White. I have already gone ahead and used um, a die and cut out the um, sentiment piece because I am using my favorite Petal palette, I'm sure you are well sick of this by now. I do want to let you know though that the bundle this comes in, so you get the Petal palette stamp set and the Petals and More Thinlets dies, which I'm also using today. The bundle price ends on the 31st of May, so if you want to get them both and save 10%, get them now before the bundle price runs out. They will still be available in the new catalogue, but they're going to be separate item numbers. So... I have got <laughs> the, we're gonna, I've got the Stamparatus. Like I said, I've already done one video on this. The link will be up there um, to that video. And that was basic stamping. Um, basically, yeah, how to get a stamped image off this thing. It's really, really easy. As you can see, mine is so well used, it's dirty. Um, because I use it all of the time. So, we are going to, this is a, oh, I've pre-cut everything already, as usual, and I'm going to insert my uh, piece of Whisper White. Now, you would think, wouldn't you, that putting your piece of Whisper White up in this top corner is the way to go. And it may well be for some of you. What I prefer to do is to bring it down and out a little bit, just so that I have a little bit more wiggle room. Um, and I use the grid lines on my on the back of my stamp to get everything lined up now you it's more difficult to do that um when you're using photopolymer stamps because you have the kind of foamy mat in place when you're using the rubber i take obviously take it out when you're using um when you're using photopolymer when you take it out when you're going to use rubber stamps like we are today I've put my magnet down to hold my piece of cardstock in place because I've got it all lined up. What I now need to do is get my stamp lined up. And I have a bit of a top tip for you. And that is grid paper. So I'm going to take a piece of grid paper and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to insert it into the corner of my stamparatus. I'm going to take my stamp and pop it onto my grid paper. Now, I'm hoping that it's going to be lined up. Yeah, that's absolutely spot on. Right. You can see that that is also on my um, cardstock because I knew whereabouts my cardstock was. So, i get everything moved out of the way. The other top tip I have for you is you've taken your stamp out of a stamp case. Take this stamp case and put it underneath the... Um, plate of your stamparatus. This is going to make inking up a lot easier. So I'm going to take Smoky Slate ink and I'm just going to clean off this stamp because I think it's still got pink ink 
on it from me, me making, can you tell I, I've literally just made the previous card. Um, <laughs> I'm having one of those weeks where I need the videos <laughs> and I have, I'm not very organised. So I'm just going to clean that off and I'm just going to make sure it's clean on my grid paper. Yes, that's lovely. Right. So, Smoky Slate ink on to the stamp. Swing the arm over and stamp it down. That's simple. Then you're going to put the plate into the fully upright position and pull it out. Move it down one hinge step. See where the name comes from. And we're going to ink it up again. Okay. And we're going to do this all of the way down the card. Oh, and I've got ink on my fingers. Um, it doesn't matter whether you ink and then move or move and then ink. In actual fact, I will go back to doing it, move and then ink. Just because I think it probably makes it a bit easier to see. So... And you can see this is really, really quick. You can do this on multiple pieces of cardstock at the same time because you think that's lined up into a corner of, of, of the grid on the back here. So you can you know exactly where that piece of cardstock is. You can then whip that piece of cardstock out and put another one in. Dead easy. Right, I'm now going to move this plate all the way back up to the top and put it back down. Okay, this one, as you can see... I've got them closer together and the only the, I've, the way I've done that is I clean off this stamp again this is one of those stamps that's quite easy to line up so I'm gonna swing it in and just take note of the position of the stamp against the lines of my stamparatus and I'm going to move it up okay swing it across I'm just going to check the position as it goes down. Or it needs to be down a little bit further. And you could do this on your um, cardstock as well. So place your stamp onto the project itself. Okay, so I just want to check that that is absolutely straight. So I'm going to put my grid paper back in again. Just a bit of ink on just so that I can see it. That's straight on my grid paper, so I know it's going to be straight on my project too. And we're going to stamp again, so we're going to ink and stamp. Move it down one. Ink, stamp, move it down again. Ink. You can see that this does not take any time at all you do need to be careful when you're taking your hinge out that you're taking it out in the fully upright position and that as you get further down obviously your plate is less and less in the positioning tool it be does become a little wobbly um, but I'm you know it's not unusable um, and actually if I'd have positioned my cardstock up it a little bit it wouldn't have been such it won't be such an issue so there's that now i'm going to bring it back down to the second position so it's going to line up with this third congratulations and i'm going to grab the label now this is has been already die cut using the petals and more thinlets dies i'm going to lay that over the top of um the congratulations and get it lined up on my washi tape on my um i keep washi tape on my magnets to kind of keep them um e they're easier to pull on and off but it's washi tape so it does kind of rip every now and again <laughs> which it has just done so i'm just going to clean off that stamp again that label is now lined up with this stamp here and i'm going to ink it up with blueberry bushel which is so it's so blue so very very blue we have five brand new in colors they are currently available um, in a five ink pad bundle as part of the share what you love 
promotion um, and I, I they're fabulous let me let me get them all out for you so we've got blueberry bushel call me clover lovely lipstick i am in love with this color i made a card for my newsletter subscribers last week with this i love it grapefruit grove and pineapple punch they are so bright <laughs> so very very bright colors right i'm going to lift that magnet off again i'm going to move my stamp out of my um stamp apparatus and move the whole thing off to one side so you can see exactly how the stamp apparatus works it that is absolutely perfect you're gonna you could do it with a um a clear block i know you could but not that quick so we just need to put the rest of our card together so there's what we're this is what we're aiming for so i have got my card base in blueberry bushel which i am going to just fold and burnish then we've got a layer of smoky slate I just grab my snail and I'll do that onto the front like so then we've got our congratulations panel like there isn't that gorgeous and then what I have done is because I mean and you could you could you know totally just leave it like that and it would be a lovely card for a guy not a problem but I needed to bling it up a bit so I've already gone ahead and die cut a branch from the uh, once again the petals and moth inlets that are currently bundled with the petal palette stamp set from the and this is champagne foil so I'm going to just and I've what I've done when I've die cut it I've adhered I've used um sticky sheet foam oh no what's it called multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back so it's all sticky um because it's just much easier that way I'll just add that on there I'm going to grab my silver because we haven't got champagne silver um metallic thread and good amount of that the pink one i've used gold thread but i you know seeing as this is supposed to be <laughs> more of a manly alternative I'm saying supposed to be because it's not is it it's got you could you could send this to a man and i'm sure you would get away with it um but it's still quite feminine <laughs> because <laughs> man men's congratulations cards they're tricky so a bit of snail on there and we're just going to lay those loops over and i'm going to spread them out a little bit um like that two dimensionals on the back of our sentiment piece and that is our card finished which i mean it is it's not the most the, the, the easiest card in the world but it is simple when you've got the stamp apparatus to help you out so i'm just gonna layer that there i think kind of trying to keep it so you can see it says congratulations all the way down I'm not covering too much up that is my card for today thank you ever so much for joining me here at Stampin' by hannah don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out my online store for everything I've, you've seen in my videos today. The shopping list for this project is over on the coordinating blog post. The link is in the down bar below. And I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.